Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel, welcome to another day of triathlon training. I have been for a swim this morning, stats on screen somewhere, if I might not put the stats on screen, 700 whole meters, just feeling the water. I'm not fit enough to go and do an interval session and then two days later do a race. It's Thursday morning and today is travel day, we're going to Ireland, we're going to Cork to do the 70.3. Now, travel days are normally boring, but this one's going to be quite fun because Simon, my friend, who I used to live near in Norfolk, is picking Liz and I up in his van, three of us in the front see with no air conditioning on a heat wave day on a massive journey what could possibly go wrong first thing is normal elizabeth yeah. liz are you ready where are you we're in the living room oh my goodness are you ready i'm ready i'm just doing parts is that bag essential to doing parts on as well yeah yeah very nice look forward to a weekend away <laughs> Yeah, can't wait. I've never been to Ireland before. Now, Liz said this about Wales when we went to Diamond Wales. She said, I've never been to Wales before. Then when we got back, your parents told you you had. Yeah, but I've never actually <laughs> been to But she's actually Ireland. never been to Ireland before. <laughs> anyway, last little bit of packing. Simon should be here in a minute, so let's get on the way. Okay, good afternoon. We are now on the ferry. Good afternoon, Liz. Mm, okay. I feel like we might need to reintroduce Tri Sai. You, you were in series one of the uh, Triathlon Dan vlog, weren't you? Yes. A few years ago, and now you're, now you're back. And you're the character we tried to kill off, but haven't quite managed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And I was with you at the Breckman no, 100, 100 mile. Time. Yes, you were. Oh, yeah. Yes, the one which was about 63 right. miles in the end. Yeah. But there you go. Yeah. Okay, so Simon is an age group triathlete and is doing cork full distance this weekend. Your first Ironman. Yeah. First marathon yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> so some of you might recognise Simon from when I did Ironman Wales in 2019. Simon did the race day video in partnership with James Simpson. You know, the, you, know, you recorded the day for me, didn't you? He came and supported me. So when Simon said he was going to do his first Ironman, of course I was going to come and do it. And it's just fallen really well that Cork's got a half on the Saturday and the full on the Sunday. So how's the training gone, Simon? Good, actually. Crammed a lot in, yeah. in July. So I, you did a train uh, like a pro. Uh, Eight day block of yeah. doing it all. Um, yeah. yeah, with time allowed, I couldn't really have done much mm -hmm. more. I would like to have done a marathon, yeah. so that would be ideal, yeah. but trying to do, so much do that and risk an injury and then not making the race. Mm. So, the longest run I've done is 16 mile. But, that's, that's you know, right. I've only got to add 10 on. Yeah, it's, it's only 10, isn't it? Yeah. It's nothing um, in this. And Simon's training's <laughs> clearly gone very well because on the way onto the dock, we're in a van, so we're obviously going to get searched. What did the lady doing the search ask you? She said, have you just come from the Commonwealth Games? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Clearly. Simon lapped it up and yeah. said, yeah. Yeah, the physique, you know, the salad box I had with me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, we're going to see a lot more of Simon this weekend. Simon's family have flown over, so we'll be meeting those later on tonight at some point. Yeah. We've got about half an hour till the ferry sets off, and then, what, about a three hour crossing? Yes, it is three hours. Yeah. It? Oh, quite a leisurely thing. Liz and I are looking for the pool deck, <laughs> but there isn't one. <laughs> before we're on a cruise. Exactly. It's not quite the same vibe, but yeah, look forward to getting settled in here and then about two and a half to three hours of driving yeah. the other side yeah. before we get to the um, accommodation. So yeah, all right, let's set sail. Bon voyage. It's quite literally. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. <laughs> so this bit isn't too bad, but there's people like carrying the bikes, pushing them. Where's the hill then? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Windmill Hill Yole. Oh my God, a lot of people seem to stop, isn't it? Yeah, <gasps> oh no, it's that's wet. What... It's wet ground there. Yeah, well that's what we said, if you go too slow, yeah. you just go bang on the ground, don't you? But you can see how they're like grinding it out. They are, aren't they? You see, that's the quickest way. Yeah. I think it's that second lap on the bikes. I'm going to have to save myself. It is quite steep, isn't it? But you've got to think they're completely different conditions, because obviously how wet and slicker that'll be. Yeah, that's true. How long is the hill? About a mile. No, it's, no, it's 400 metres. <laughs> there only peaks at 21, 22 percent. That's it's not, not, not the whole that thing. That didn't seem too bad, yeah, to be fair. Bad. Bad. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what I thought the outside of a ferry was going to look like, the deck, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I thought it was this. 
You have a time? Yeah, I've been out here Sunday in the night. You have, haven't you? Trying to catch a tan while I've been sat inside editing that yeah. silly decker long video <laughs> about halfway through it anyway. Yeah, it's quite soft and fresh, haven't we? Haven't seen any dolphins yet. No, we're trying, to, I'm trying to work out how fast we're going, it's really hard to tell. I'm going to hold this camera as hard as I can. Looks like we're moving pretty well. I can swim in this place at the weekend, that'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. Isn't it? I feel really sleepy, do you? Yeah. Mm. It's, a long, it's a long old journey. Simon picked it up about 9 o'clock this morning. We're not going to be there till 9 o'clock tonight, so long old day. We're gonna Even go... longer for him. And yeah, he's doing all the driving. Thanks, Simon. Know, thanks, Simon. <laughs> Should we go and get a burger or something? Yeah, chips. some chips. Yeah, brilliant. All right, let's go. This has been absolute carnage. There's kids running around absolutely everywhere. Liz won't let me go and play with them. <laughs> Liz is one of those people, we've covered it in the past, that if you get on an aeroplane, she has to stand in queue to get on the plane, and I'm not that person. Now, there's just been an announcement on the tannoy, none of us listened, and Liz seems to think it was saying, go back to your cars. This room here is full of people, but Liz wants to go, get back to the van, so we're ready to go, don't we? No, not I'm like either. to yeah. Simon's just been for a five minute walk. <laughs> Yeah, good I'm training, mate. Strava. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's any segments on that specific bit? Yeah, there might yeah, be. Yeah. There's yeah. some in here I could beat as well, I tell you. <laughs> Not really. I'm just trying to talk Simon into um, on Windmill Hill on the court course. The fastest person up the hill wins a Wahoo Element rival watch. So you watch up for grab watch side. The space. Yeah. It won't be me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You can this? Yeah. Yeah, you had your chips in ya. Yeah. Oh, you didn't mention that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Athletes. Athletes. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to talk then and get back in the van. Another two or three hours and we're there. Yeah, about two or three go. Can't wait. Okay, so we have arrived. It is about half past nine at night. So it's been a long old travel day. That's like 12 hours of traveling and about 14 for Simon. We've essentially got a, like a decent sized portion of this big house. We're about 35 to 40 minutes outside of Yule, which is where the event is. So it's not ideal in terms of race morning commuting, but because there's two races on the weekend, there's such a short supply of accommodation, but it's really like old fashioned inside. It's quite a cute little thing. And there's like a big river behind that you can you sort of back onto looks really good so looking forward to getting out this is in like quite a rural part of Ireland so there's a lot of quiet country lanes around so my plan tomorrow is to go for a little steady run and then just go for a little test spin on the TT bike might do like five miles or so just to turn the legs over just to make sure everything works I've put a new cassette on my bike that I haven't ridden on the road before so I want to just run through the gears a few times and yeah I think we are going to get unpacked and um, get settled ready for bed ready to go and rack and register tomorrow so looking forward to cracking on with that um, thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please do hit subscribe button down below and i'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m for some proper triathlon training and a bit of a racking registration day it's getting real <laughs>